Ever look up and wonder how all those planes stay organized? It's not chaos, it's airspace classes. Let's break them down from A to G in 60 seconds. First, the big picture. Airspace is either controlled, where air traffic control is actively guiding traffic, or uncontrolled, where pilots are more self-reliant. Most of what you see is controlled. Way up high from 18,000 feet is Class A. This is for the big jets, flying under instrument flight rules only. You need specific ATC clearance to enter. Think of it as the express lane for airliners. Class B surrounds the busiest airports like a multi-layered wedding cake. It requires explicit ATC clearance, a two-way radio, and a transponder. Maximum control and separation here. Class C is for airports with a control tower and radar but less traffic than Class B. It's a smaller cake. You don't need specific clearance but you must establish two-way radio contact before entering. Class D is a simple cylinder around smaller airports with an active control tower. Just like Class C, you need to make two-way radio contact before you fly in or out. Class E is the catch-all controlled airspace, it's everywhere else. It typically starts at 700 or 1,200 feet above the ground and extends up to Class A. No radio contact needed for VFR flight, but ATC still provides services. And finally, Class G is uncontrolled airspace. It's usually found close to the ground away from busy airports. Here, pilots are responsible for their own separation. It's the wild west of the sky. And that's a rapid-fire breakdown of our skies. Knowing your airspace is key to flying safely and legally. Want to learn more? Like, share, and subscribe for more aviation insights. Fly safe.